The FIFA World Cup, the biggest sporting event on the planet, has captivated audiences worldwide since its inception in 1930. Held every four years, it is an international soccer tournament that brings together teams from all over the world to compete for the title of world champion. Beyond the excitement of the competition, the World Cup has many benefits for participating countries and the world as a whole. These benefits include economic growth through tourism, the promotion of national pride and unity, and the opportunity to showcase cultural diversity on a global scale. Additionally, the World Cup serves as a platform for promoting fair play, sportsmanship, and cultural exchange. The tournament also contributes to the development of the sport with investments in infrastructure and training programs for young players. These are just a few examples of the many benefits of the World Cup, which makes it a truly special and unique event in the world of sports. The World Cup is more than just a sporting event. It can have a positive impact on society as well, as the powers that bring people together from different cultures and backgrounds to celebrate the love of the sport. The tournament can also lead to a boost in the economy through increased tourism, employment opportunities, and also business growth. The World Cup can also promote national pride and unity, bringing a sense of belonging and also community to the citizens of the host country. A report by the United Nations found that inclusive and diverse societies are more likely to be peaceful and also resilient and have higher levels of economic growth and social well-being. The World Cup also provides a platform for promoting cultural exchange as people from different parts of the world would come together to learn about each other's way of life, music, food, and also dancing traditions. Additionally, the World Cup can bring positive attention to the host country and help to improve its international reputation. The World Cup's social impact extends beyond the tournament itself, inspiring future generations to pursue their dreams and fostering a love for sports. Overall, the World Cup is not only a celebration of football, but also a celebration of diversity and unity with the potential to bring many positive changes to society. And I forgot one thing. The World Cup is too fun to pass up on. While hosting the World Cup can bring many benefits, it really does also have its drawbacks. The tournament often involves substantial cost, including the construction of new stadiums, transportation infrastructure, and accommodations for fans and players. This can lead to public funds being diverted from more pressing needs, such as health and education. Health and education are two very important things in developing countries and third world countries. Additionally, the tournament can also have negative social impacts, including the displacement of local communities, increased crime rate and security concerns, and strain on the local infrastructure. There are also environmental concerns, such as the consumption of resources and the generation of waste. All other environmental concerns include the use of fossil fuels for building these stadiums. Although the World Cup is accustomed to bringing people together and creating happy times, there are negatives that most people do not see behind the scenes of the World Stage Soccer Tournament. Due to the lack of soccer infrastructure to support being the host of the World Cup, the eight stadiums costed over $6 billion to build over the course of seven years. These time-tight conditions resulted in the deaths of 6,500 migrant workers due to the extreme heat and suicide among the workers. Initially, Qatari officials denied the deaths of workers due to the construction of the stadiums and belittled the death toll of the workers. Furthermore, Qatari officials announced their strict regulations for gay and LGBTQ fans of the sport. Qatari law states that non-binary gender identity is not recognized as well as the prohibition of gay marriage and expressing one's homosexuality. Another negative of the World Cup is the political disputes it carries into its matches. One example can be the Switzerland vs Serbia game. Due to a small number of Albanian players on the Swiss side and Serbians ongoing hate for Albanians, Serbians across Europe took 
to the streets carrying signs that stated kill kill so that sheep tar a common phrase or name for albanians no longer exists after switzerland's dominant win i find it heartbreaking that a sport i love garners such unintended hate due to political conflict off the field it's problems like these that plague such pure sports events like the world cup and make them dark and unpleasant this is tremendously impactful for people and inspiring for people so uh, can you quantify inspiration? Can you quantify happiness? Can you quantify euphoria on these scales as much as you can quantify the, the death of a person? I, I think that it, it becomes a very difficult question to, to say if the benefits outweigh the, the negative. Since the beginning, the World Cup has shown us, in hundreds of ways, how does the power to bring people together to tear people apart, to boost the economic stability of nations, and to shift public funds away from more drastic needs, to provide jobs for workers, and to lead to thousands of workers' deaths, to inspire nations, and to displace communities. Undoubtedly, the World Cup has had an immense influence on our lives, and it will continue to do so, whether or not it is seen as something as positive or negative. So it is up to you to figure out whether the World Cup has had a positive or negative impact on our lives. And it is up to you, the future of our society, to figure out what we're going to do with that. But for now, all we can do is sit back and enjoy the show for what it is today.